So we are at day one of a new weekly vlog. In my building my home library series. My dad said this will hopefully be the week where I can start putting books on the shelves by the end of the week. So I don't know if that means it'll be completely done yet. There might be some things that we're still working on, but the goal is to at least get all the shelves up so that theoretically I could start putting books on them. We'll see if that happens. And my nose, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, it's it's like so raw and so red because I can't breathe out of my nose. I have such a bad cold. Uh, so I am like struggle, struggling, but it's okay. We're here, we're surviving and thriving. So we're just gonna keep chugging along and uh, luckily, it is a weekend now, so I get to just relax and focus on house stuff. And I think my dog would like to say hello. Can you say hi, Jamie? Can you say hi? Oh, the other one's coming now. Okay, hi, Jones. Hi. Oh, yes. He is very, very affectionate. He, you give him a little, and he takes a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you updated. Big moment. Big moment. Big moment. Oh boy. Well, it's because it's leaning. Like yeah, it's yeah. It, like, okay. Oh, it's going to be a nice snuggle. Oh! oh my god. Oh my god. So while my dad is working on the shelves, oh, safety first, seat belts. <laughs> while my dad is working on the shelf, uh, I am taking my daughter to Home Goods, and we are going to check out their selection right now. And I'm not only looking for the library, I'm looking for stuff that's, you know, for the entire house. But if I see anything that would be cool for the library, I might, I might pick some stuff up. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm excited. We're gonna listen to some wheels on the bus. And we're gonna be on our way to Home Goods. So I'll take you with us. Nothing for the library, but I did find some other stuff. So starting with the most adorable kids painting for the playroom upstairs. Just a, a kitchen mat that hopefully will go in my kitchen, hopefully. And then the softest bath mat for the bathroom coming out of the shower. Mm, oh, it's so cozy and soft. I love the, just like the pure white. And I know it'll get dirty, but it's so soft. And then I'm not sure about these curtains, but I liked them. And I'm thinking about putting them over in like the dining area. So we'll have to see how they look. And then we have like no hand towels for our bathrooms. So I got some hand towels and I got a coastal sunset candle and I wish you all could smell it because it is incredible. Uh, since we're in Florida, I figured I could be a little more tropical with my candle selection. And then finally I got little matching coffee bar type containers that I think are really cute. I want to have like a whole little coffee bar set up. So I'll probably do a video just dedicated to setting up a coffee bar, but I did really like these. So 
Yay! So those were all the things I got from Home Goods. So maybe this was interesting to you, and if it wasn't, I hope you skipped it. <laughs> All right, one last update for today and actually for the whole weekend, this will be the last update because my dad is out of town. So here, you saw the shelf go in on the side earlier today. So it is in there and it is snug and it is perfect. And he also went ahead and put the corner in. So you can see how it's starting to come together. So. For anyone concerned about the gap between the corner and the wood right now, we do plan on filling that in with wood. So there will be an additional angled cut of wood to fill that piece in so it's nice and sturdy. And up here on this top angled one is where the light will go. So in that piece of wood that he cuts, He's going to put the light in it so you can kind of see he's got his tools here this is for the light switch that will go into the shelf here that he kind of started to cut and had some trouble with so he bought some new tools for that so you can kind of tell what it's going to look like now a little bit more and then the next step for him is he's going to replicate the exact same thing he did over here on the other side. So it'll be the same look and then he's going to have to connect the two corner spots together going across there and drop the wiring for the lighting behind them to that outlet. So he's still working hard on it. He says he's making a ton of great progress. So my husband is actually at a hockey game tonight and my daughter went down super early for bed tonight because she only took one like one hour nap from 10 30 to 11 30 basically. So she's been up almost all day. Uh, so she went to bed super early. So I just got out of the shower and I have the rest of the night ahead of me. And I think that I am going to focus on finishing Opal and Nev on audio because I really need to do that. <laughs> and I'm also going to do some physical reading of the book that I have right now. But I'm also going to enjoy myself and maybe like, do my nails and do some tidying. So... I'm excited. I, I think that this is going to be a really nice, relaxing night. So I'll kind of take you with me as I enjoy the, the calm. started the weekend so I'm just hanging out with my daughter and we're just playing in the playroom and I did finish a book this morning and I finished an audiobook last night so I'm already feeling very good going into the weekend uh, and I just wanted to quickly say that I put up the building home library vlog yesterday and I am just floored <laughs> at the reception of it. I had no idea what to expect. It's not the type of video I typically do on my channel. So it was very much kind of a, let's see how this goes type of video. You know, it could have totally flopped and I would have been fine with it because it's still so much fun for me to document this journey of building the home library. And I was gonna keep doing it anyway, even if it was, you know, not a very well, <laughs> well, uh, viewed video 
but I'm I'm floored because you guys have been so nice in the comments and so supportive and so thrilled with seeing the journey and I'm just very much in shock at how much you guys enjoyed that video. So I'm like so excited to keep doing this journey and keep bringing you along with me as we not only set up the house, but set up the home library. So I'm going to definitely keep you all updated. Thank you so, so much for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, let me know if there's something more that you want to see uh, from these vlogs, because I'm always open to your feedback. So just wanted to say thank you so much. You're so cute. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Hi. Hi. Got a buddy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're going to go play some more. So we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday, which means it is the day I get to update my patrons with my weekly update post. I love doing these because it's almost like a little journal for me where I update my patrons kind of on like personal life stuff, but also how the TBR is coming along, what are the upcoming videos to expect, and any other kind of random thoughts I have. And then I'm also trying to, now that we're in April, kind of give like a rough, myself, a rough idea of each video that will be coming out for the rest of the month. I try to plan my videos about a month in advance uh, so that I know, you know, what I need to pre-film and try to get as much as I can done up front to avoid having the stress of like, running behind on things or not getting something done in time. So I like to kind of take these moments uh, to plan my booktube stuff each Sunday. And my daughter is sleeping in really late. I mean, she woke up a couple times last night, kind of uncomfortable, but I'm like shocked. She's usually up by now. So I'm gonna take advantage and, and get some stuff done. Uh, so I thought I'd give you that update. My dad is getting back from his trip uh, today, so might get some more library updates tomorrow. And very excited to continue to update you guys. Another day uh, that has passed and my dad got here early in the morning and just left like at nine o'clock at night. So he has been at it all day and I have huge, huge updates for you because he has gotten so much done. So you saw him this morning matching the upper trim on the other side. So he finished that and then he connected both of the sides across long ways. So he did all the framing up there today. And then he also 
finished doing all of the wiring for the lights. So you can see how that blue one is turned over right now. So we have to make it upright, but you can kind of tell there will be one light on the corner, one light in the middle here where those wires are. And then this one, you can really tell because this one's sitting upright, the third light there. He also had to do a lot of trim work around where the vent, the air vent was to allow for the air to get out. So he's going to finish fixing that framing there. And then we are eventually going to cover the, the hole in the ceiling <laughs> that will not remain. Uh, so that kind of added a little bit more complexity. And then the wires, all of the wires drop down behind this shelf here and come out at this outlet. And this is the one that we were both working on for a while tonight, getting this outlet, this light switch cover to match perfectly with the hole he had cut out in the shelf. So you can see once it's all done, that switch will cover that hole and that will be how we will turn the lights on and off. So that is the amazing, amazing progress today. So tomorrow what we're doing is working on doing the vertical beams for this middle part of the shelf. So from the top to the bottom, we'll have vertical wood pieces that connect both so that the shelves are really snug in there. And then we'll put the last shelf in and then the corners are going to get the angled cuts of wood so that everything is very flush. And at that point, after those two things happen, we are ready to start working on the cosmetic part of the shelves and cover all of the framing and all of the gaps <laughs> with just solid sheets of wood that we will paint white to match the Ikea shelf white. Very excited, we're making a ton of great progress, or at least he is, <laughs> and I will keep you all updated tomorrow. All right, last, last shelf is going in. Is it in? Is it on top? It's on top. Perfect fit. Wow. It's the next day. Look at this. All the shelves are in. Oh my gosh. Here's what it looks like from outside the room. And walking in. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. So everywhere you see the wood, there will be molding over it. So right here, we'll put decorative molding up along the top will be crown molding and then on the sides and at the bottoms. So that apparently is the very easy part, my dad tells me, which I am like still just blown away that any of this he was able to accomplish. <laughs> it's incredible, I'm so excited. So I can't wait to take you along. It is looking like the end of this week. These shelves may be looking like they can have books on them. I also have fun stuff to report. Oh my gosh, that lighting. Let me see if I can find better lighting. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so I have book mail that I can show you guys. So the first thing I got was my patron pick for this month. 
The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. And as you can see, I've already started it because I was so excited to dive into this one. And it's so short and I think I'm going to read it so quick. So I'm reading this before bed each night instead of a chunky fantasy book. I find that thrillers are easier for me to read at night uh, because otherwise I just fall asleep so quick. I'm always so tired at the end of the day. And then I also got... <gasps> Tyrant's Throne. I'm so excited. This is book four of The Great Coats. This is the last book in the series. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read this. I did get this used and it's in such good condition. It's like perfect. So I'm very excited. And then I'm so, so thrilled about this. I asked the publisher, William Morrow, if I could potentially... Uh, request a physical copy of this book to review because it's one of my most anticipated books of the year and they actually sent it to me it's always a shot in the dark I always kind of just send out to some publishers that I'm able to find contact information for you know can you send me a physical copy of your book so that I can review it on the channel and sometimes I never hear back, but then I will get the book in the mail as like a surprise <laughs> and I totally don't expect it. Uh, and this is the case with this one. The Last Word by Taylor Adams, which is the same author as No Exit. And No Exit is such a good thriller. I loved No Exit. And this one sounded so good. It sounds like a reverse misery where you have an author who's the one who's kind of like doing some shady stuff to reviewers and readers that don't like this author's work. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to check it out. So thank you so much to the publisher for sending me this one. This was such a nice surprise to get in the mail. So that is the book mail that I wanted to share with you. All three of which I am so much anticipating. Uh, and hopefully I will get to all three this month. Fingers crossed. I'm in the garage tonight because I am painting the wood that is going to cover up the framing on the sides of the shelves. So we are officially at the part of the project where we're focusing on the cosmetic aspect of the shelf and not the framing of it anymore, which is really exciting because as these pieces go up, it's really gonna start to come together. So. Keep you updated on what that looks like. It is Friday at 6 a.m. and I am reading my book, which I'm almost done with. It's it's taken me all week to read The Bitter Twins, but I'm almost done with it. So I'm really hoping to finish it this morning. And I'm about to have my coffee. And this video is actually going up today. So you just saw the most up-to-date look at the library. So we unfortunately did not get all of the trim work 
and molding up yesterday because it took a lot longer to try to figure out the angled cuts for the bottom. If you've seen a lot of the built-in Billy bookcase hack articles and videos, not a lot of them have to do corners. And corners are quite difficult. <laughs> uh, making the angled cuts of wood just right and lining it all up. Um, I think maybe some of them have done corners, but it makes it more complex. So it took a little bit longer to do that, uh, but we are really close. And once we get all of the initial wood up to cover the framing, the actual process of adding the molding should go by very quickly and be very simple. That's the hope. So there will probably be some more painting that I'll have to do next week, but we're getting really close. And that means I think next vlog, I will have books being put on the shelves. So big, big week for the shelves. We did a lot. Hopefully this was interesting to you. Hopefully you are continuing to enjoy the journey. Please let me know what you all think of it. And then just another reading update. I am reading The Housemaid. Uh, at night before bed and I'm about halfway done with it. Oh my gosh, it is infuriating. There are just some of the worst characters that I, not the main character, but the other characters that I can't stand. And I'm like, every time I read it, my blood starts boiling because I, <laughs> I dislike these characters so strongly. Oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm like waiting to, to see you know, so I feel like something's gonna gotta happen here pretty soon in that book because it can't it can't just keep going on like this. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, so anyways, I'm enjoying it though. It's just an infuriating reading experience. <laughs> so, anyways, I didn't finish any books this week. Um, after I updated you that initial day of the weekend, but it was still a very productive week. We're starting to watch Ted Lasso again. We're starting to watch Succession again. So those TV shows kind of take up some reading time at night for me, um, but it's worth it because some, I don't watch a lot of TV, but the TV I do watch, I try to be uh, very particular with which shows I watch and I really do like those two shows. So anyways, I hope you all had a wonderful week. I hope you all continue to have a wonderful weekend and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. You can also subscribe if you'd like to. And if you want to check out even more content from me, uh, you can always look at the description box for all of the information on my Patreon. So thank you all so much for joining me, continuing to join me in this journey. And I will talk to you all in the next one.